Mistake number six, body language that sabotages success. Now, sure, Q&A can be unnerving, but beware body language that says, I'm a loser. You know, slouching in your posture suggests defeat. The look that says, poor, poor, pitiful me, leaning from side to side, locking your arms, closed body language, please feel sorry for me, I can't help myself. Other negative body language reveals signs of inward stress and shouts, I'm nervous, holding your own hand, <laughs> either behind you or in front of you. All of these things say, I need reassurance, foot shuffling, hair tossing, uh, sleeve adjusting, adjusting a watch band, lint picking off of your clothes while you're seated around the table, twisting your rings, uh, necklace fondling, moving your coffee cup around on the table, holding your hands as I've illustrated in front of you or behind you. All of those are reassuring nervous gestures. When standing during a sales presentation, some of those gestures scream, in fact, most of those gestures scream, I lack confidence. Crossing your arms in front of your chest is protection. Locking your arms behind your back, clasping your hands tightly in front of you says, I need mommy or daddy to hold my hand. None of these gestures, none of these slumping postures gives you or gives the buyer confidence in you. Your, your, your offering, what you're saying, your recommendation, or your organization. Responding to questions can be your biggest nightmare. Or it can be your chance to showcase your expertise, build rapport, and customize your offering exactly to what your buyer needs.